Hello everyone, uh, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to be looking at Dead by Daylight. It's currently having a free weekend, um, so I decided to give it a look, and I've actually been quite surprised by what I found. It's a pretty neat game. Uh, we'll start off by playing as a survivor. Uh, it's a 1v4 game, where you and four survivors sort of try to survive against a killer in one of several locations. Uh, the game has a lot of licensed content as well, as you can see, like Steve, Nancy, Ash, uh, David T Tap, you know, characters from actual horror, and of course killers from horror as well, so we'll see, see you later. Um, at the start of a game, you can equip perks, stuff in your inventory, inventory stuff at one use only unless you leave the level with it and you can also make an offering to the entity that brought everyone here uh, which will basically allow you to earn more points um, I'm gonna play as David for now and I'm also going to level up the level ups are like randomly generated little webs containing items and perks which is really neat And the more you level up, the more perk slots you get. So now I can equip two stuff. Um, David is not the like most traditional survivor. He's sort of a bit more aggressive than most. Uh, if you're going to play this like your first time, I'd suggest Claudette. She's really good. Um, it's just that there's a lot of other Claudettes, and I feel awkward seeing like three other people who look exactly like me. So. I uh, try to go somewhere different. We'll just equip that for now. But yeah. Uh, B1, this game does have micro transactions, uh, hence this fun little currency here. You can use it in the store to buy uh, equipment and that. But as you saw, I haven't bought anything, and there's already like six survivors open to me, all of which have some customization to begin with, and there's also like six killers, and it's all good. and. You don't need to own the DLC to play with someone else who has the DLC. You just can't use that particular survivor or kill yourself. Uh, it's peer to peer. Oh, great. It's good old Australian internet. Yeah, so it's peer to peer. And um, that can sort of, you know, affect, like if you have good internet, you're going to have a good connection. If not, Good luck! <laughs> so yeah, we'll just load in. Obviously as a survivor your main objective is to sort of hide from the killer, that sort of thing. There's a lot of Steves and Nancys around as well because um, they are newly released in the Stranger Things DLC that's just come out. Like, most of the game is half price at the moment, but not all of it, like obviously Stranger Things is an half price, but you can pick up the base game for like 15 Australian dollars or regional equivalent, which I'm guessing would probably be like 10 euros. Oh goody. Yeah, that's one thing that I am not keen about this game because it's peer to peer and the way the system's set up is if one person drops, the whole game goes. I understand why, because apparently there used to be some complaints about people dropping out and um, that making a game unwinnable, like if you went in with three survivors that's apparently super hard, but that being said, it doesn't seem fair, because like, yeah, people will drop. Okay, it seems we're mostly playing with new people, going off all that, the levels. Um, so yeah, we'll just wait for the match to start. Uh, this is a premium in-game currency you can only unlock via, like, leveling up and that. You can use it in place of this in some instances. This is just the currency for leveling up in general. The Jenks. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what killer we go up against. That's one of people's offerings. 
Okay, so we're facing the Huntress. That's actually uh, interesting because that's the kill I've been playing as at the moment. Based on a friend's recommendation, she's pretty good. Yeah, these three pictures kind of summarize what you're supposed to do. Uh, start five generators on the map. There's usually eight on a map. Um, try to do it as quietly as possible and escape. Killer is always faster than you, so it, you know, a little bit difficult. We'll try to put you on hooks, which is pretty gory. Yes, uh, there'll be a heartbeat noise the closer the killer gets to us, which indicates how close they are. This is one of several maps. I look at survivors straight away. Always useful. There'll be quick time prompts that'll make you mess up if you're not careful. See you, bitch. I feel bad because I sacrificed that guy, but eh. <laughs> you know, sometimes it be like that. Sometimes, like that, it be. Okay, I'm guessing that's where the basement can potentially be. The basement is like a special area with items. Some items otherwise randomly spawn in chests. There's a generator. Like, it's not the hardest game, but it's nice. I fucked it up spectacularly. Mm -hmm. Clearly I am the most elite Deadpool Daylight player. Yeah, no, she's coming. Bitch! Yeah, she can throw hatches. Ah! Not shocking. As I said, the killer's always faster. Yeah, never, basically never attempt escape because there's a 4% chance of succeeding and it otherwise speeds everything up. The problem is you can only be hooked three times. <laughs> yeah. Wiggling does make the movements a little harder. And during this point, you have to spam it. Yeah, if I get hooked again, I'm basically instant dead. I am hoping someone comes and saves me.
this slow the combat looks. That was super lucky. Um, if everyone else does get killed, and there is only one survivor left, somewhere in the map will open up that's basically a, uh, a hatch that'll help them get out. Got two more generators we need to do. Early hiding. Yeah, um, survivors get third person view like this, whilst the killers only get first person, as we'll see in a bit. people working on a task makes it quicker obviously. Hey friend. That's often how those fuckers will repay your kindness. Pretty sure I just screwed that lady over. Sometimes that's all you can do. I can save her. Come on, bitch. Probably could have gotten me then. Oh. Mm. 
don't think there's any around here that needs to be done. Yeah. Yup. Fucking thousand percent, yes. Should probably get me on the door, though. But I mean, at this point... See ya! I mean, I could have stuck around to sort of help them, but... Uh, honestly, I don't know how much use that would be. Let's see how they're doing. Yeah, uh, see? We all, like, most of us got away anyway. I think one was sacrificed, so that's not a bad result. I didn't want to have to do this, but I had to edit this video because there was just too much nonsense going on with people connecting and leaving and then waiting. <sighs> so, at least you didn't have to sit through like half an hour of just people fucking around. <laughs> so yes, this is the Huntress. Big Russian killer lady. She has some customizations to begin with, but most of it's in the store. We'll give that a quick look, actually. In case I forget to do that later. But like, you know, you can buy all the masks and in that individually. Weapons are just cosmetic, they don't do anything. Yeah. Just be aware the cosmetics are a little bit pricey, although you can earn some of them with this. I'm not editing this video, like, I'm not, I'm not, like, cutting this, like, more. So, like, hopefully we actually get in a game this time. Because, my goodness. Honestly, the last time it was just, like, utter nonsense. Creep. Yeah, um, the killer has like your own unique perks. You can level up this, etc. There's many licensed killers. I'm just repeating what I said before because I'm pretty sure I'm cutting most of it out. Like there's Ghostface, the Demogorgon, Kruger, uh, Leatherface, uh, Jason Voorhees. Amanda from uh, Saw, you know, got a good selection, although these are the ones you start off with. Heard she's broken, <laughs> but I'm liking her so far. Now we wait. Actually, if it does take too long, I'll just edit out the next bit too, so you get just the killer footage. Okay, so we are in a game now, and it seems like there's a lot of Twitch people. <laughs> Matt Ian B and Langaz uh, underscore, along with Spring Onions and Arrive Drockrot. I don't know why I read that as Arrive Drocket as opposed to Arrive Drocket, but here we are. Oh, I should probably equip some item additions. Oh, I did from last time. So yeah, you can equip like little things to make your weapons better. But let's get to the slaughter, shall we? Oh, fair few offerings. Did I 
mysterious entity that brought us all here. Yeah, this game launched originally in 2015. It's got a following. As I believe I said before, it's a neat little title. Oh good, no one quit this time. God, Bill sounds so whack in this game. Where do you run? You see there's scratches in the ground? When someone runs, they'll leave those marks. That's why it's not the greatest idea to run. Oh no, this isn't good for them. There's a few generators all within like very short walking distance. Yeah, it's first person for the killer. Meaning that a lot of things can escape their sight. Hello. That didn't work out well for you, Frank, now did it? They're working on that one too. That's okay. Yeah, so the Huntress's ability is basically to throw axes and fuck people up. It's great. You replenish axes by going to the... Uh... Actually, where the fuck is a hook from here? Over there? Why do they have to get trapped under here? Oh my god, this fucker's gonna get out. I'm gonna be so mad if he does. No, I'd go to the base with him. Come here, you little shit. Fuckers thinking they can escape me? Who you think you is? Because you is dead. Shut up. That doesn't do any extra damage, it's just like shutting them up. You can damage some incomplete generators to fuck up their progress. Unexpected. I'm gonna have to go to a locker. That's fine. Please gasp for more. Hello. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I'm not the greatest killer, as you can see. <laughs> God, how they get so many generators up and running already? This poor fucking Bill. Hey, Bill. I guess, I guess he glitched. Gonna try to save him there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, I got them both. That's unfortunate for them. Oh yeah, you can crawl. No, 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 no. I'll let one crawl to freedom, but not two. I was gonna say he should be instant dead. idea where the other one would be coming from. Are they going to try to make it for this door, or are they going to try to find the hatch? No hatch for you. But I mean, yeah, th at this point there's not too much I can do. I got one, but that's not ideal. Guess he should drive the other door. But yeah, that's basically dead by daylight. You just... You just try to do the best you can. It's a pretty fun game. Uh, as I said very much earlier on this video, uh, it is available half price at the moment during the um, free weekend. Most of the DLCs as well. Um... Not all of it, but yeah, I, I reckon it's a good look. If you're not sure, give it a go on the free weekend, or look up some videos if you're watching that past this, and uh, consider if this is the sort of game that might be right for you. Thank you for your time. Bye.